Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome to my Tech It 2 world, where today I will be showing you how to convert a single blaze rod into a ton of EMC quickly and efficiently. In terms of generating EMC, which is part of the Project EMOD, and what is basically the currency of the world inside of most Tech It mod packs, as well as many others, in terms of EMC generation, this is far faster and more efficient than using something like a power flower or solar flower where you have many solar collectors, many relays, and many condenser, or well, a single condenser at the core of it, generating diamonds or, or uh, red matter over time. This is going to be a lot faster, and it's something you can get set up pretty early game. I'm going to be showing you three different versions, the last of which is what I actually use. Well, sort of. I'll walk you through them. So the first iteration that we have here is very basic. We have ourselves your bog standard and... <coughs> Might have forgotten that I was in creative mode for a second, but we have your bog standard macerator and inside of it, we have a stack of blaze rods and an export and import upgrade. Now I'm using the full export and import upgrades. However, you could probably get by with the basic on this version of the machine. The basics are a lot easier to construct. I couldn't get them working quite right, and that might just be down to the version of Tekkit I'm using or the version of the industrial craft mod that is installed, but when you get to later versions, you're going to want to have the full-fledged export and import upgrade anyway, so uh, I would recommend just going ahead and building them. These can import and export entire stacks of items. And what we've got going on here is we have a blaze rod being macerated inside of the macerator into three blaze powder, which you can see happening right there. The import and export upgrades move the blaze powder into this condenser, which then condenses the blaze powder into blaze rods, which are then brought back into the macerator. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, a single blaze rod has a value of 1,536 EMC. And when ran through a macerator, it produces three blaze powder, which combined have a EMC value of 2,304. In other words, for every blaze rod that we macerate, we get back an additional one third of the total EMC value. If we do this many, many, many times, we eventually get a ton of excess EMC from the process because of that additional blaze powder. Two blaze powder equal the same EMC value as a blaze rod, but we get the one extra or the one third total additional EMC. Now in this configuration, I have it set up to three basic solar panels using copper cable. And the reason for that is to demonstrate a way of running this that does not require any fuel. If you're using something like a generator and you're using charcoal, then you're going to be burning charcoal and wasting EMC to get this running. Now, you can absolutely do that. And if you already have an existing power setup, if you already have some form of, of grid in your base, be it in TechKit or whatever mod pack you're playing, then by all means, hook your macerator into that and don't worry about it. But I wanted to show you how to do it without any sort of waste on the actual power. This is just using solar panels. Now, this will only work during the day, but if you hooked up something like a bat box, that might keep you running at night, maybe a few of them in series. This isn't super efficient though. It's very, very slow. It takes a very long time. It's easy to build because it doesn't require that many components. In early game, you could definitely throw this thing together. I mean, the most difficult prop, uh, part would probably be getting the energy condenser. But once it's going, it'll just keep running in the background while you're out doing other things. You might be thinking, okay, well, why not put some upgrades in there to make it go a little bit faster? And I've done that over here. So this is the exact same setup, except we have five overclocker upgrades. And as you can see, it's moving quite a bit faster but that also does require quite a bit more energy. So I've hooked it up to three low voltage arrays, which each of these requires eight standard solar panels to manufacture. So you're gonna be building quite a few solar panels if you wanna have something like this running. Although again, if you already have a power grid set up at your base, you could just tie it into that and it would be fine. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. As you can see, it is quite a bit faster, but with this setup, we can only support the five overclocker upgrades. At least now we could actually stand here and watch the EMC come in at a reasonable rate. But if you have enough power, if you have this much power, for example, if you have three low voltage solar panel arrays worth of energy, you might as well get rid of the macerator and step it up to the rotary macerator. Now, the rotary macerator works almost the same as a regular macerator. It's a bit more involved to construct, but not so much so. And as you can see, we're running it still off of three low voltage solar panels. So the power difference isn't all that different, but the performance. Look at this. This is going so much faster. 
So the way that the rotary macerator works is that it starts at speed zero. You can see that over here. As you give it tasks, it goes up to 1%, 2%, 20, 30, 40, you get it, all the way up to 100%. When it reaches 100% speed, it's ludicrously fast. Now it uses more power at 100%, but as you can see, we're powering it off the same number of solar panels as that machine over there, and we're having absolutely no problems, and it's going much faster. There is one catch, which is if it loses power, or it doesn't have anything to process, like let's say we took the blaze rods out, <laughs> well, in this case, it'll just pull them from the energy condenser, which is filling up next to it. But if we were to remove the blaze rods or it lost power, this would drain all the way back down to 0%, and it takes quite a long time to get back up to speed. Now, how you avoid that is making sure that you keep it powered up at all times. So if you are using solar panels, I recommend having an MFE because this does run off of medium voltage, or it can. So you can plug an MFE into it directly without it blowing up. Just have some sort of power, maybe if you have a grid that you can guarantee runs all night, sleep every night, make sure it never loses power any way that you can figure. And then as far as running out of blaze rods, in this configuration, that will never happen because it is fast and efficient. But you can also put a lever on it and turn it on and provided it has power, even if it runs out of things to process, it'll stay at 100%. Now, how much faster is this? Well, if we open up the energy condenser, these have all been running for about the same amount of time, and you can see this one is well out and ahead of the other two. It is moving at a ludicrous pace, and you can actually watch the blaze rods tick into existence. So what do you do with this? Well, you leave it running, and anytime you need EMC, you can come out here and grab 98,000 EMC worth of blaze rod. Just grab a stack, don't worry about it, heck, grab two grab three it'll keep generating them when you leave here they'll just keep ticking up each of these stacks is worth about 12 diamonds so passively in the background while you're doing nothing this is just generating diamonds worth of emc and if you're wondering how this compares to a solar flower well it's actually a whole lot faster once you get it running with the rotary macerator this is actually the direction i would recommend going you don't have to go with solar if you have a good and consistent grid power system already in your base don't worry about using the solar panels just make sure you keep it powered up maybe put a lever on it just to be safe and then all you'll need is the rotary macerator your export and import upgrades and then the energy condenser and if you've never used the export and uh, import upgrades they're really easy to set up once you build them, and the recipes aren't too complicated, you got to build the basic ones first and then upgrade them, more or less. Uh, they're not complicated. All you got to do is either face the direction you want them to go. So if we had access to this side, we could look at the machine, and then holding each of these in our hand, we could right-click. But because this side is being blocked off by low-voltage solar panel, uh, we'll stand over here instead, we'll hold down Shift, and we will right-click on the actual rotary macerator, and as you can see down there in the bottom left, it says set direction to south. We'll do that for our import and our export upgrades. And now it is configured to import items from the south, where our energy condenser is, as well as export them to the south, where, again, our energy condenser is. Put those back in there. And you'll notice, even though the machine wasn't running, it was still it stayed at 100%, and that's because of our lever. Then you just throw down your energy condenser next to it, put a blaze rod up here, put a few blaze rods over here to get the thing started, and you'll be set to go. You can have this running, it's super compact, and it is just generating stacks and stacks. I mean, as you can see, even since we took all of these out, it's, it's just generating stacks and stacks of blaze rods like no one's business. Now, because of how fast and efficient this is, it's possible for, while you're not paying attention, this to fill up with blaze rods, get completely clogged, and stop running, which is why I use a slightly modified version of this in my own Let's Play series. So that's where we are right now. We're inside the youtube.com slash at howdyfolkslp Let's Play Tech It 2 world. And let me take you back here to where I hide away my secret EMC generator. And I'm using a modified version that actually does use a more traditional looking power flower. Inside of this is an energy condenser that is creating blaze rods. Those blaze rods are getting imported using an import upgrade. And then the blaze powder is getting exported into this condenser, which is creating the red matter. And as you can tell by watching this, if you've ever had a tier three power flower, trying to generate red matter, you'll know that it is not this quick. You can actually sit here and watch as the blue bar fills up from the blaze powder being dumped into it. You can watch how quickly the blaze powder is being dumped in here. You can just sit here and watch a red matter be generated. It's very, very fast compared to just using an energy collector by itself 
using it instead to make the blaze rods and then having this macerated uh, it's it's super quick and this is all being powered off of my also automated nuclear reactor it's it's a bit of a silly setup right now it's it's currently in the, the middle of a transition but this is my no interaction nuclear reactor that generates all of the fuel and automatically constructs the quad uranium cells that then get dumped into here and just run forever without me ever having to interact with it and never overheats never explodes pretty cool stuff but there you have it that's how you can build three different versions and honestly i don't even really necessarily recommend the middle one i'd recommend building some version of the earlier one if you have a good grid power system you can definitely throw some speed upgrades in there like we have in the tier 2 system but honestly as quick as you can i would get the rotary macerator running get it hooked up to some reliable power grid stick a lever on it get yourself an energy condenser you can see it's now almost filled up the top bar just in the time that i took you over there to uh, look at my own setup and in fact it's going to fill it up before i even finish talking about it we can just sit here and watch and just like that we now have a full row across the top and the second row is already being generated. It's self-sustaining, it's crazy, it's fast, it's efficient. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Goodbye.